after 7 years, Nagatoro has finally ended. There were a lot of good parts about it, a lot of bad parts about it, but at the end, the series was quite honestly one of the best romance manga ever made. A solid 8 out of 10 all around. And while I'm not the biggest fan of the ending, not because it's bad, but because it's quite generic, in my opinion, it still wrapped up quite nicely. But what do I know about good endings? I enjoy quintessential quintuplets. And just look at how that ended. If anything, I am actually quite glad that Nanashi decided to end the story quickly and not drag it out like some other romance manga. Honestly, if there is one thing I wish for now is that someone does a spin-off manga about Senpai and Nagatoro in the future married, just like what happened with Takagi-san. Pretty much everyone on social media agrees that the ending was good. Well, almost everyone. As we know, Twitter will hate on everything and Nagatoro has been particularly hated over the years. So, I am not really surprised to see comments like these. Chris Tyson currently in shambles. Hitler dead. Best wishes to all three Gunnar fans of whatever the fuck this was. Loser man's worst day ever. And my personal favorite, 9-11 for pedophiles, set by a Dragon Ball fan. So, there is a couple of things I get from these comments. One, they surely mistook Nagatoro for Mushoku Tensei's ending, which I understand, you know, Nagatoro, Mushoku Tensei, the names can mix up, people make mistakes, yeah. Or two, these people haven't watched the series, or have only watched like one or two episodes, which is usually the case. It's actually really interesting to see how every time a romance manga ends, the same comments would be used. It's as if people can stand seeing a normal relationship, and it's not just because they're in high school. That's never the problem, because these same comments were used about Uzaki-chan, a show about people in college. So there is never a actually winning with these people. And I know I can just write it off as Twitter being Twitter, but there are people with actual good takes about the ending. Like this one. Love the series, but the ending was lackluster. I actually fully agree with it. I personally actually wanted to see what happens with Senpai and Nagatoro after they confess, but like every other romance manga, they confess and a couple of chapters later, the series ends. That's personally my biggest problem. Not just with Nagatoro, but with romance manga in general. So there are some actually good takes in here, but Twitter is still Twitter. Anyways, I would really miss Nagatoro. I have been following it for about like what, 6 or 5 years now and not having a new chapter of Nagatoro and Senpai every other week is going to be tough to overcome. I am looking forward to whatever Nanashi makes after this. Well, not anything to be honest. I don't want to ever see their doujinshis ever again.